freedom and beauty to everyone. I am a Technomage and welcome back to Manganime News. So, starting this video, I'm going to reverse the format of my Manganime News videos. I'm going to start with the general news and leave the Shonen Jump news to the end because those are more specific. So, let's get to it. Starting with Eshiro Oda to get an eye surgery? What? One Piece manga will go on one month break. Oh, yes. I, I think I talked about this last week. That Eshiro Oda was going to go on an extended hiatus. But they didn't say for what. And now it's not going to be just three weeks is going to be four a whole month because of eye surgery why what happened to him one piece twitter account also shared a message from Echiro Oda to to fans where Oda revealed that he has been suffering from severe astigmatism oh which makes things look blurry refers to a frequent, a frequent type of refractive error, error in vision that leads to fuss, fuzzy or distorted sight. Because of this irregular retina, a vision issue can be innate or could develop over time due to external factors, such as strain on the eyes, improper posture, or heavy reliance on near vision tasks, like being a manga artist. I've said it before and I said it once again. Being a manga artist in Japan is a health hazardous occupation. Strain on the eyes, improper postures, heavy reliance on near vision tasks. That's being a manga artist in a nutshell. And he left a, this message on Twitter for the fans which translate I'm currently surprising you all with the final arc of One Piece but I really want to have a little operation I'm going to have surgery to shoot beams from my eyes <laughs> I'm just joking around but I have been currently thinking stuff like there are a lot of people with twins these days I, oh wow I have severe astigmatism which makes things look blurry wow he's seeing double that's that's bad that's really bad this has been interfering with my work and i've been talking to my editor about about it since last year he said well go ahead so i'll come back with improved eyesight i will also be able to see beams oh well, well oda sensei my best wishes to you Eye surgery is no joke. I had eye surgery myself because I used to wear glasses. And it is a dangerous surgery. Now, in other news, Studio Trigger will reveal a new anime project soon. And they say nothing about it. As of now, there is no information available for the anime project. The announcement was made on Studio Trigger official website and uploaded to Twitter by a credible user and source. The only piece of information available right now is the reveal date of the anime, July 1st in Anime Expo. Some users over Twitter are speculating that the anime is going to be yet another original and Isekai, a studio trigger announced an Isekai anime a few months back. No! No more Isekai! Please! Please, no more isekai, even if it's triggered and it probably will be awesome. Please, no more isekai. Enough. For now, Studio Trigger is working on animation and isekai manga titled Delicious, Delicious in Dungeon. Dungeon Meshi is not an isekai. It's a fantasy manga, but, but it's not an isekai. Now, Yusuke Murata has announced to be working on a new iShield 21 one-shot titled Brave, Brain, Brave, an 
animation to commemorate the 21st anniversary of the series. 21 years of Eye Shield 21? Really? Wow, I am so old. And also, I talked about this last week that the artist of One Punch Man was going to be working on an anime project and this is it. Yusuke Murata is the manga artist for the manga adaptation of One Punch Man. One writes the story, Yusuke Murata does the drawings. Also, oh, he'll be working with Ice Shield 21. That's nice. Studio Ghibli's upcoming film will have no trailer, no promotion. It doesn't need it. It's a Studio Ghibli. They will release a film and everybody will see it. They are that good. In a bold move that diverged from the typical Hollywood style promotion, the only advertising will come from a single mysterious poster already released. This one. And producer Toshio Suzuki, a long-term collaborator with Miyazaki, shared insights into this unusual strategy in a, res in a recent interview. He explained that the team was seeking a fresh approach and wanted to challenge the routine practice practices of over-promoting a film before its release. How do you live expected to be Miyazaki's final... Oh directorial work draws its inspiration from a Japanese novel. It's a coming-of-age story centered around the, the emotional and philosophical journey of a young boy coping with his father's death. Oh, that's sad. Well, like many Japanese stories, he pointed out that releasing multiple trailers as is common can sometimes disclose most of the plot resulting in a diluted experience for the audience. Yep. That is true. Uh, as I said, it's a studio give give Ghibli film. It doesn't need trailer or promotion. It's studio Ghibli. Everybody will see it because they are that good. Now, fairy tale creators new manga information revealed. Oh, so the create will start a new dark fantasy manga while sim simultaneously working on. Eden's Zero and Fairy Tale Hundred Years Quest. So, set of information in the new manga, new world, war, da, 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 uh, no shonen is, the, as the series is going to shift from Hiro Mashima's known shonen themes to dark fantasy. The manga is tenta tentatively titled Dead Rock and will be published on July 6th of this year. It will be serialized in monthly shonen magazine August issue and published by Kodansha. The drug will follow a boy who faces severe challenges to become the demon king of his world. Series will focus on character development and fantasy elements. Wait, will I focus severe challenges to become the demon king of his world? You mean like this? Oh dear. Any other information? No. So, Hana Kimura's family reportedly harassed by Oshinoko fandom in aftermath of serious controversy. Oh, really? What? Now, in case you didn't know, this article by animesenpai.net is kind of long, so we're going to abbreviate it. Hana Kimura was a professional wrestler who, after appearing in a reality show and having a argument with another of the participants, received endless and merciless cyberbullying, which ended with her taking her own life. She self-deleted herself. And there I think there was already controversy in Ochinoko because there were certain plot themes that evoked Hana Kimura's tragic story. 
and now it seems that that controversy was exacerbated after episode 6 of the anime series. The controversy began as the as the episode 6 story revolves around the, the depiction of a storyline strength strikingly similar to Hana Kimura's story. Ti uh, episode 6 of Oshinoko titled Ego Surfing where a character named Akane is relentlessly bullied online after an altercation with a co-worker on co-worker on a reality show. A few weeks ago Kimura's mother took to Twitter to voice her objections, claiming that Ochinoko has cap was capitalizing on her daughter's life and tragic end. And in the aftermath of this incident, no, 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 uh, following Kimura's mother's online protests against the anime, the family has reportedly been on the receiving end of excessive online harassment from these fans. Oh, come on, guys, seriously? No, no, just no, you do not. Come on, people, you are anime fans, you are better than this. Now, in happier news, thank you for respecting the original work. Oh, beautiful words, beautiful words. Vinland Saga also praises anime adaptation. Uh, like Attack on Titan, Villain Saga anime had a studio change for the recent anime season. The first season was anime with studio, while MAPA Studio is in charge of animation season 2. Sorry about that. MAPA's adaptation of Villain Saga manga has so far received no complaints from the mangaka and fans alike. In fact, after the release of Villain Saga season 2 episode 22, Makoto Yukimura praised the anime adaptation for respecting the original source materials. Oh! Marvelous! When will the West learn from this? Respect the original source material. Oh, beautiful, beautiful! The mangaka also praised the music composer Yukata, Yutaka Yamada for the perfect music. He wished the manga in volumes can emit music like that too. Oh, now. Now I really need to get up to date with the anime because I'm watch I watched Midland Saga season one and I've been watching season two but I dropped it like two months ago because I was busy with other things. Now now I really really need to get up to speed with this series. Now as I said I'm leaving the more specific news for the end. So, Weekly Shonen Jump, Weekly Oricon for the end of May. Yes, final week of May. Courtesy of Shonen Jump News unofficial. Remember to follow them on Twitter. And last week, nobody ranks. Wow! Holy! Blue Box barely sold more than 100,000 copies! That's nothing! How is that even possible? Now, Weekly Oricon for the first week of June, it had more optimistic results. My Hero Academia, volume number 38, has sold over 200,000 copies on its first week. But then we have a really, really drastic drop for Sakamoto Days with only 43,000 copies. And there it goes, Black Clover, Kanebanashi, blah, 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 blah. And here, nobody ranked. Me and Roboco, Fabric and 100, oh, this series is is not going to last. High School Family, I think this one was cancelled already. And here are the already cancelled ones. Tokyo Demon Bright Story, Volume 4, Ginkan Iriuna, Volume 3, and Ishigoki's Under Control, Volume 2. 
yes, you can tell that this series, this three series got axed because they are not selling nothing. And Fabric 100 is going that way. And me, Boguto Roboko is not ranking volume 13, but Boguto Roboko has always been kind of popular. I mean, it, it's even getting a anime adaptation. Oh, by the way, I love this cover because it's a it's a homage to War Trigger, another manga series of Shueisha that I really really enjoy. But anyway, look at this contrast. They, honestly, May and April before first April, first April then May, they weren't very good set. Very good sales month for Suecia. I mean, look at this. This is nothing. Now, first week of June, there is a a great improvement. Here, 100,000, 16,000 to over 200,000 and over 40,000. That's good. That's really, really good. I mean, as I said before, is it because of the season? Will I see the same thing next year on April, on May and April? We'll see. We'll have to wait. And Shoseki ranking, the first day of Shoseki for June volumes is here. Again, courtesy of Shonen Jump News. And in the ranking, My Hero Academia is in first place, followed by Sakamoto Days. Mm -hmm. La Clover, which would. Yes, it's the same series. They're... Oh, Shonen Jump News is tracking the same volumes for the weekly Oricon and the Shoseki ranking. Huh, that's a good idea. Now, so here we see how they correlate. Inca and Iriuna, it's barely Oh, it's under the top 100. Oh, and here is the difference. Tokyo Demon Bright Story, it's more popular than High School Family, but High School Family... Oh, well, actually, we don't know if High School Family sold more because they're not ranking. But yeah, me and Robogo is still... It's in a very good place in number 28, but still not ranking, so it's selling very little. That's really discouraging for Voku Toroboko. We'll see if its anime adaptation will get a second season. And to end this video, Weekly Shonen Jump, issue number 28, Table of Contents. So this week, One Piece will get the the lead color page and I think for next week it will start its month long hiatus I think uh, Kill Blue will we will have to wait for next week for it to have a numeration because this this Sunday it will get a color page so for now, only Tenmaku Cinema is the only one of the new four series to have a numeration. And wow, number 11. Honestly, I'm not surprised. There is a reason why I dropped this manga after chapter 2. And it's because it, it's trying to do the non-traditional fight manga style of narrative that it's very hard to pull off successfully on a shonen manga magazine and in a shonen manga magazine you are you expect to find fighting of some kind and the only ones who successfully pulled off the non-traditional fight manga on the shonen jump were ova and ogata the authors of Death Note, Bakuman, and Platinum End. 
Platinum End had more traditional fighting, but as you know, uh, what was I just said it? Oh yes, uh, Death Note became extremely popular for its non-traditional fight manga style of psychological and strategic fighting, whereas Bakuman was not as dark as this note but it it still continued with the non-traditional fight manga style of the protagonist fighting with with their with their manga stories their manga series and fighting for the third place on the manga ranking like this one Bagoman was actually a like kind of like a more than a man manga artist, manga story was more of a Shonen Jump manga story. And Fabrican 100, yeah, no, this series is going to get axed soon enough. There is no saving it. It just doesn't have a its own identity. It's too generic as a manga, as a Shonen manga. This one has like Fabrican 100 it has the opposite problem to Tenmaku Cinema. Tenmaku Cinema is too unorthodox. Fabrican 100 is too generic. Well, what can you do? That's life. And that's the manga industry. And that is the end of this video. This is the Technomage signing off. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.